Hi, welcome to Juliet's Kitchen on Tour. I'm here at the House of Gosh to learn how to make an amazing, amazing drink, kombucha. Gosh is a local healer and meditation teacher and he's going to show me how to make this amazing super health drink. I tasted kombucha before and never liked it. It always tasted a bit like vinegar. But Gosh's kombucha tastes like the most beautiful champagne you've ever tasted. Come on, let's go meet him. Let's go meet him. Tell me why it's so good for you. Well, according to the books, um, it's good for immune system, yeah. for um, digestion, by rheumatism, arthritis. Um, it purifies the gut, okay. and it has a lot of other smaller benefits. Tell me what we're doing. What have we got in here now? In here we've got at the moment a tea mixture for okay. about 50 litres of tea. Yeah. Of black tea, green tea and many different herbal teas. Okay. And that varies every time the herbal tea combination. And what ones have you got in it today? Today I got in rooibos, hibiscus and nettle. Lovely. The kombucha enhances the properties of the herbal yeah, teas, yeah. is that it right? it enhances the properties so whatever, like if you add chamomile, it gives the qualities of chamomile. So it would be more soothing to it the system. It would be more soothing and also for children who get teas, it helps to ah, yeah, ease yeah, yeah. the teasing process. Oh, amazing. Yeah, so <coughs> I'm always playing with different herbs. And whenever I find new ones, I, like I put often jackfruit okay. leaves in. Okay. Because they're good for diabetes, yeah. and so they stimulate the pancreas. Amazing. Would the caffeine affect someone in this? Um, it might have a slight effect. Okay. Because the caffeine is not taken out okay. completely. I mean, the sugar that we add to it in the next stage, yeah. that is transformed into amino acids and other things. Okay. So there's no sugar, even diabetics, people can take it. Brilliant. And some of the caffeine is reduced, but not all of it? Not all of it. Okay. So there's definitely a small amount of teaing or caffeine. Okay. So one litre in, and then I'll make another half litre. Okay. Filling up this bucket here, so that with the tea and the bucket, we've got a total of 15 litres of water. Of course, you can do smaller quantities if you want. So how much sugar are we adding to this 15 litres, gosh? About 12. Uh, one kilo, two hundred grams. One kilo, okay. So we're now going to strain this tea that has been brewing into the water ready the for oh, the grain good. with the sugar in it, yeah. Oh, that smells delicious. Yes, and if you wait two weeks, it will be even more delicious. Oh, no, I can't wait to try sweet it. Sweet tea. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just sweet tea. So gosh, do you feel like an do you feel like you're, you're an alchemist when you're? Uh, um, I am. I love experimenting and doing yeah. those things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, trying to create the most healthy, just living water with different herbal qualities. So this is the kombucha mushroom going in now. Yeah. Wow! Look at that. It's amazing. It looks a bit like a placenta. In this process, we're covering it, it now. Now it is going to ferment, yeah. And the process of fermentation will take about one week, okay. So you just leave that now for yeah. five yeah. to seven days yeah. just to do its thing, yeah. And then you check it, yeah, yeah. And then uh, after that, it's ready, but you have to check. No, it gets a bit warmer more regularly. Okay. Otherwise, it's uh, it might be coming too vinegary. Okay. So Some people love it vinegary. I don't. Uh, so if that was ready, let's say in five days we checked it. How yeah. would you know that it was ready? Uh, what this would you one, be is, this one is about ready. I'll check it. Whoa. Mm -hmm. so, uh, small glass. So the best way to check it is to taste it. Yeah. Obviously not getting the mushroom I mean, itself. In the forest it was more easy because we had the butterflies coming to tell us it's ready. <laughs> the butterflies came, amazing! Yeah, they go and sit on the glass and... What, when it's ready? Wow! Because they're attracted by the smell of it. Uh, <sighs> you know, so. 
little bit sweet. Tomorrow it's ready. Oh, I see what you mean. That is still quite sweet, but that yeah. tastes lovely. Yeah. Just talk me through the process. Let's say this is now finished. This yeah. is now ready, the, the one yeah, we just made. Then I will put it here. So you take out the, the mushroom? Yeah. yeah. And then put the bucket here. Okay. And then pour the bucket from the bucket into bottles. Okay. And so you decant it straight away? Yeah. You can leave it, but then you have to take the mushroom out and put it somewhere else. Okay. Otherwise it continues to work. Do its process. And then you get vinegar. Yeah. yeah. Now, like here we have some kombucha vinegar. And can kombucha vinegar be used as a vinegar? Yeah. Whoa, like for that's cooking? strong. Yeah. Whoa. So it's kind of like an apple cider vinegar yeah, type yeah, of Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that smells lovely. Yeah. Ooh, that would be really nice in cooking. If you cooked it, would it destroy any of its properties? No, I don't think so. And you can make a nice salad dressing, I guess, yeah, with that yeah. as well. Yeah, that is what I use it for. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you for showing us this process. It's been really really interesting to see first of all to see the mushrooms because yeah, yeah, they're yeah. amazing they they do look like something from another yeah, planet yeah, it's, it's a, <laughs> my mother had nightmares about it that it would grow in the top of the ocean ah. <laughs> god i guess if you put it in the ocean what would happen uh, there's no sugar there's can't no, expect no, yeah, it doesn't work so good on salt i guess yeah. the kombucha taking over the planet yeah. <laughs> If you're ever in South Goa, why not come and visit Gosh and learn more about the amazing things he does? He's located in Column at the junction of Patnam. Thanks for visiting Juliet's Kitchen. See you soon.